Say your prayers, Andros. Indeed, McClough. Say your prayers, Andros. What is up, my peeps? Welcome back to the Star Fox 64 playthrough for the Nintendo 64. I am host, of course, Mr. Spinoza X, celebrating 10 years of yours truly. And it is time for the finale. Yep, this is it, everybody. This is the final part into me replaying Star Fox 64. Yeah, buddy. And look who it is. It is none other than the Star Wolf team. They got new ships and everything like that. And they'll tell you about it, too. So, you mean... <laughs> they pretty much repeat it, like, every couple times. And why am I not surprised that Slippy is already in trouble? Oh, my gosh, Slippy. Oh, boy. But, yeah. So, these new ships that Star Wolf have... Uh, they're, yeah, they're, they're pretty, you know, challenging and everything like that. But not that hard and stuff. I remember playing the first time. I was like, man... It's like, how do I take these damn things down? Because they do barrel rolls and everything. You can't lock on to them um, when you have your charge laser and stuff like that. Peace out, Oikini. And hang in there, Falco. Um, but yeah, they, they're, they, they're not invincible. You know, they pretty much get in. Like, you could still destroy them and everything like that. So yeah. And you can take down Leon already. So now we got is uh, Pigma. Which you got a bone to pick with. Come here, Pigma. Where are you at, man? You, you ain't gonna get my buddy Peppy that way. Yeah, there we go. Whoo, look at that. You see? Not that hard. They're challenging and everything like that. But now we got one more to go, and that is Wolf O'Donnell himself. So, oh my god. Okay. This is where it gets really annoying. Because, what, like, with all, like, oh my god, dude. Like, it's pretty easy with them. And, uh, in the snow and Fortuna and everything like that. When the easy path and stuff. But man, dude, it is kind of hard when there's only one uh, member left. Because, man, they just easily, like, evade and everything. They get behind you real quick. But the other thing is, like, what is my team doing? Like, can't you guys help me out and take out Wolf? I mean, sure, I want the points and everything like that, but come on. Like, they're just, like, flying around. Like, now nah, we got it. Fox is, you know, dealing with it or anything. And, like, Fox is handling it and everything like that. Like, dude, guys, help me out. There's only one left. Come on, we got to save the whole Lilat system. Take down F Wolf already. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, 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 eh. And then again, you know, I do want the points because each hit, uh, you take down each member of Star Wolf. They're each uh, 50 hits and everything like that. So, yeah. Um, you can get a met. There we go. Finally took down Wolf. You better believe it, Wolf. But anyway, now that we've defeated Star Wolf, now it is time to go it alone from here. Yep, we're going to go ahead and face off against Andros. Alright, so for this one in the hard path, it's not like in the other, in the easy path where you just keep going down and everything like that. In this, in the hard path, pretty much. You just gotta, there's like different paths and everything like that. Uh, really, like it doesn't matter which one you take and everything, but it does kind of matter because like there's certain paths that he have like different area, like um, power ups that'll help you out like bombs or uh, the laser upgrade and everything like that. There's even at one point like, like a continue, but I mean, look at us, we got 10 continues. Why do we need m more continues, you know what I mean? But we just got the laser and everything like that because we definitely need the blue upgrade and stuff for this one. So, yeah. But anyway, here is Andros. Pretty much the same concept as, you know, in the easy path. You know, you got to shoot the he the hands and everything like that. Um, totally recommend shooting his eyes first. That way you get, like, free shots on on his uh, left hand and everything like that. There you go. Shot down the left hand. Now we just got to shoot the eye more. And there we go. And now you get, like, free shots on the right hand and everything. There we go. And then, of course, take down the head. And, oh, nope, never mind. I, can, I thought we had him. Nope. All right. He's going to just don't get eaten. Because if you get eaten, you get your wings taken off. And you don't want that because, like, one wing gets taken off. And pretty much you're reduced back to your single shot um, laser and everything like that. Oh, my God, dude. Why am I not hitting him? All right. Let's just kind of avoid getting eaten you could also when he has open his mouth and you have bombs you could pretty much throw it in there and everything i promise you this is not is, is not hard and everything he's not that hard 
I don't know. There we go. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Well, that is it, everybody. Hopefully, everyone enjoyed this finale of... Whoa, what? What? Yep. Andros. This is the true form of Andros. This is his brain with his eyeballs and everything like that. He was, this is pretty much the last uh, All Rain segment um, and stuff. And all you gotta do is shoot his eyes and everything. And you got you shot one. We gotta shoot the other one. And after that, uh, you pretty much take down the brain. You hit the uh, the bottom part of the brain, which is called the cerebellum, and everything like that. So you're just following the eye. Where is the damn eye? Let me do a uh, somersault. Let, let let it get be let it get behind me. All right, let it yeah, let it get behind me. Let me do this, and then and then bam, there we go. All right, now we just gotta go ahead and tag Andra. So again, like after that, pretty much when you like, his weak spot is the bottom part of his brain, which is the cerebellum and everything. And it'll show you what it is right there. You see, like, yep, right there, um, and stuff. So, so as soon as you shoot him, he's gonna start following you, um, and everything. Like, if you shoot him a lot more, once he's like, watch this right here, real quick. I think we are gonna, yeah, there we go. Now he disappears, and then now he'll start to begin to follow you. So this chart is pretty tricky because you can't really. It's hard to get away from him and everything like that, um, and stuff. Um, like it's really hard to like try to like aim at him and everything because he's always constantly following you So your best bet right now I'll show you just do a somersault and then just quickly turn to the left or right Whatever direction the brain is going and then pretty much start striking the cerebellum and everything like that So that's pretty much the concept with uh, um, And with you know the true form of Andros. the only thing you want to be careful is the little like uh, the uh, the vine the veins that are that are in the bottom of the brain and everything like that uh you want to be careful with that because if you're caught up in that pretty much he starts uh sucking your energy and then pretty much it, there is a chance there's a slight chance slight chance that he will take a wing out of take take a wing out and stuff oh no and uh, of course when i say that freaking i get caught up Ah, get away. Ooh, he didn't take out a wing. All right, but yeah, there is chances. There's like a slight chance that it won't happen, but most likely it will. Um, and everything. And we don't want that because we need the damn lasers um, and stuff to easily take down the brain and everything. So yeah. My oh, man, he is a freaking... <clears throat> it is tricky. It is very tricky and stuff like that. So you just got to, you know... Time the somersault right. If not, you're gonna get caught up with the freaking the veins growing out of his the bottom of the brain and everything like that. You just gotta be very, very careful. Oh no! I oh my god! I didn't time it right. You see what I mean? Oh my god! I, I, yeah, I'm already reduced. Yep, wings sticking out. I'm already reduced. No! What the hell? No! Oh my god! No, he took all of my wings, dude. I have no wings at all. Now it's gonna be more difficult to freaking maneuver for this thing. <laughs> oh my god! All right, let's do another one. Somersault. Okay, cool, cool. Ah, ah, snap it. Oh my god, it's hard. It's kind of. Oh my god, dude. It's kind of little. It's hard to turn, and it's hard to it like when you're like trying to like go. Oh my god, and I get caught up with that thing. Oh buddy. All right, it's all good. It's all good though. I'll be back, everybody. All right, guys, we are back. Let's go ahead and do this again. So, oh, man. But, yeah, so just uh, it, it, be very careful and everything. All right, let's go ahead and shoot the eyes real quick and then just get over it. All right, good thing that, oh, yeah, the eyes are actually together. So we can um, go ahead and shoot down the eye. Oh, yeah, they're together now. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, no, they're separated. They're separated. No, yeah, they're separated now. Okay. Well, I thought I was going to take them down all at once, but no. But it's all good. We're going to go ahead and uh, let the freaking eye go to us. Do that. And then, bam. There we go. All right, cool. Now we just got to deal with them freaking. Yeah, now we just got to deal with the freaking brain now. All right. So, um, 
We don't have the blue laser, but I mean, eh, the, the double green lasers are pretty effective as well and everything. So, it'll give us at least some type of damage against the brain. So, yeah. But I do definitely recommend getting that. Um, I do definitely get recommend uh, getting the double upgrade of the lasers and everything. Because it'll go by much quicker and everything. Um, if you're trying to, like, if you get, like, good shots and everything like that. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, since you many guys are saying like, well, where's the health bar and everything? Well, there is no health bar because Slippy's not here to analyze it. So, you know, we just gotta like hope that we you know we're doing damage to it. So, yeah, that's one thing that sucks. It's like, like there's certain enemy, like if you do not have Slippy with you, you know, the health bar won't appear and everything like that and stuff, um, which I'm totally fine with and everything. I mean. I played games like that where, you know, the enemies don't have health bars, but you just gotta wish that you're doing damage to it and stuff like that, like Resident Evil. So, yeah. I mean, at least with Resident Evil, there's kind of a hint where, like, oh, you know, you're doing damage to it and everything like that. As with Star Fox, you can't really tell that you're doing damage to the brain and everything, but you just gotta assume that you are and everything. So, yeah. So, that's why I say recommend. Definitely recommend getting the freaking, um, the double, uh, the blue lasers upgrade and everything like that so yeah all right let's go ahead and uh time this perfectly Woo! we timed it perfectly now we just gotta turn real quick yeah you see like when you're turning sideways um you go by much much quicker and everything like i i, I mentioned before i'm playing this on my uh dual sense uh ps5 controller and stuff so the way i have it set up and like in order to turn, there's like the Z or R buttons and everything like that. You would think um, L could do it, but no. Um, it's only the Z and R when you're doing a barrel roll, pretty much. Z or R uh, twice and everything. So that's the only ways you could turn. So I have my Z button pretty much. Uh, ooh, ooh, we're doing damage. We're doing damage. We're doing damage. We're doing... Ah! Okay, I think a few more hits and we should be good. But yeah, I have my Z set up... Um, I think on my right trigger and then the uh, right the R button on R1 pretty much so I know it's a little like as like why you have it set up like that because there are certain other game like in the Nintendo 64 where the L button actually does work so yeah ah oh, damn it so that's why I have it set up that way and stuff don't judge me <laughs> all right Hopefully we could get it. So we just gotta let it come to us. We just gotta let it come to us, and then go ahead and. Uh, woo! Okay. All right. I think we should be good here. We should be good. We should be good. No! Oh my God! His little poop balls of death freaking stopped us. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right. We just gotta let it come to us, real quick. We gotta get more a little little closer. I think this should be good. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Woo! Alright, alright, cool, cool. Ooh, 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 let's go. Yeah, buddy. It is over. Wait, what? No! No! Don't ever give up, my son. Dad? Father? Oh, wow. Oh, buddy. Dad, where are you going? Help us get out of here. All right, so now, what we got to do now is freaking just boost your way through. Follow your dad and everything. Follow your dad. If you go the wrong way, you'll be caught up in the flames and everything, and you'll be consumed by them. We don't want that, so keep following your dad. He's pretty much following us to the path we took um, when we entered here and stuff. So, yeah, just keep following him and everything. Yes, we got to trust our instinct, just like our dad said. Come on. Oh, no, I don't even know where I go. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. Ooh, dude, I was like, where'd he go? I was like, oh, no, dad, don't, don't leave me, dad. All right, all right, okay, cool. Yeah, this is the end right here. Oh man. You've become so strong, boss. Thank you, Dad. Woo -hoo! 
Let's go, baby! Mission accomplished. But wait, where's... Where's my dad? I guess he was just like a ghost and everything. But at least he helped us. At least his spirit is now free from the clutches of Andros. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this playthrough of Star Fox 64 for the Nintendo 64. Hopefully everyone enjoyed. Man oh man, it was a joy doing a play uh, doing another playthrough of this game and everything. Whoo man, dude. It, it was fun playing this game again, honestly. Like man, this play game will always have a special place in my heart um and everything like that. Obviously I did tell the story already of how, you know, I obtained it and everything, like how I how I got it and stuff, you know, my dad buying it for me after having a bad day um and everything and that day became a good day after that and stuff and man oh man it's just the fact that you know with my relationship with my dad and everything it reminds me so much of this game you know between fox and you know james mcleod and everything like that man oh man i'll always love this game to death spending hours and hours finding out you know where to go to the other planets and everything like that take the different routes and stuff like what do i have to do how many how many enemies that i gotta take down and everything you know what i mean like it's man this game will always hold a special place in my heart and the fact that you know the rumble pack pretty much was the future of gaming where like all these other controllers that came after the nintendo 64 you know had the rumble and everything where like there's like a certain like scene or action or like a part in the game where like you know your controller vibrates and everything like that into those intense action scenes or anything like and something like that and just the fact that man dude how the rumble pack pretty much in star fox 64 pretty much did that you know for the future of gaming and everything this game is just definitely revolutionary it's just really man like i just wish like I don't know, like, like they did something with Star Fox, you know what I mean? Like, they always just, they just can't seem to escape, you know, the success of Star Fox 64. Hell yeah, we prefer doing our things our own way. Oh, we get in call. Fox is ready to go. It's time for us to go now. Yeah, buddy, here we go. Man, I I definitely I definitely love this shot right here where they're just running across uh, Venom and everything like that. Pretty much like oh, like making sure you know like they actually you know took down Andros and everything like that. And stuff, or like trying to find, you know, a fox still trying to find his spirit of his father and everything. So, yeah, but yeah, I just wish, like, man, like after Star Fox 64, um, obviously, like, I, I still enjoy Star Fox Adventures and uh, and Assault and everything like that. It's just after that, it's like, man, the, the series kind of just started going a little downhill and everything. Command was all right, I guess. Zero was, uh, ugh, Zero was, uh, something, um, and stuff, but I mean, it's, yeah, again, Zero's kind of just like a remake of, like, uh, Star Fox 64, but it just a lot, it utilized a lot of the, uh, the gyro, uh, controllers and stuff, so, that's one thing I didn't really like about Star Fox Zero, so, like, man, just have us, like, go back to this style, you know, like, you know, where we're shooting down enemies, dodging obstacles, where we don't have to have, like, a second screen we gotta focus on, you know what I mean, where you just kind of, like, focus on, like, the, uh, the TV and stuff, so, yeah, 
Oh man, look at that. That 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 was a beautiful shot right there when the gray fox was like great fox was like rising up and everything from the ground. That's actually really really nice. Whew. But yeah, man oh man. Definitely love this game to death. If anyone hasn't played it yet, what are you doing? Get on it. Play either this or Star Fox 64 3D, which man, I can't wait to do. I want to do. I definitely. That's a future right there. Do a playthrough of that game and so, so yeah. Oh man. Nineteen ninety seven Nintendo. Just listen to this beautiful music. The end. Ten hundred and ninety seven. Didn't beat my personal best from the last playthrough, but hey, it doesn't matter. I again it's not a perfect playthrough, and I'm just doing this because I'm playing it as a fan, but yeah, I didn't even beat my personal best from the easy path. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, man. But hey, either way, I wasn't going for like, you know, like a perfect playthrough or anything like that. Where like I get all the medals for each planet and everything. This is just me being a fan of the series and stuff. Uh, of the game and the series itself and stuff. So, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. So, this is like the last playthrough um, that I did. Yeah. yeah. I got a medal on Zonus and stuff. Yeah. Oh, well. It, it happens. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. It, it, it definitely happens. Oh, well. What can you do? But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this playthrough. Hopefully, everyone enjoyed this playthrough um, and everything. We will get started on the next uh, playthrough. Instead of it being a replay of a playthrough I previously did, this is going to be a playthrough of the its predecessor um this is a playthrough of the the sequel uh a sequel to a game that i did previously and a couple years ago and stuff what is that game well you guys are gonna have to find wait and see and stuff so yeah let's put that big stamp on there and let's go ahead and call it a day thank you guys again for watching star fox 64 um for the Nintendo 64, this has been Macy's Panels of X saying good night, good morning, good day. What are the time you guys are watching this video? And I will see you guys on the brand new playthrough of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Hopefully everyone enjoys that one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright everyone, bye.